Hello! Today I'm going to teach you how to make this super cute hat. Um, it is really easy. You can finish it in a couple hours. Um, I'll have an additional pom-pom tutorial on how to make a fur pom-pom. Um, but this is a super, super soft yarn I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, you're going to need some yarn. This is called Romantique and it comes in some really cute neutral colors. Um, it is a 3.5 ounce um, skein of fabric or of yarn and I'm going to be using a really large hook for it. I'm using a 10 millimeter and that way we'll get this really chunky knit look um, that we're going for with the crochet. So um, you're going to also need some scissors and a yarn needle and of course your pom-pom which I'll teach you how to make in another tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a slip knot and you do that by twisting your thread and grabbing onto the extra little string and just pulling. Then you're going to put your hook in and you're going to slip it tight. Not super tight. You want your work really loose in this um, because your hook is so big. So now we're going to chain 24. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, till you get to 24 yarn over pull throughs or 24 um, loops on your chain. And I will meet you back when I'm done with mine. Okay, so I have 24 chains and I'm gonna go back to the second chain from my hook. So not counting this one here that it is kind of linked into, I'm gonna count one, two. And in that second one, I'm going to yarn over and go in through that chain. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and I'm going to yarn over, pull through all three loops that were on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over again, go into the next loop on my chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. Again, yarn over, go into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. I'm going to do that all the way down my chain until I get to the end. So one more time before I turn you loose, yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I'm at the end of my first row and I'm going to yarn over, go into this last chain, do my last little yarn over pull through here, and I am done with my first row. So now I'm going to chain two. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to go into just the back post only. For the rest of the project, you only want to go into the back post. So if you see the little V here, there's a back post and a front, uh, actually loop, not post, uh, the back loop and the front loop. And we only want to go into the back loop only. So same stitch, but back loop only. Yarn over, go into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through three. Again, yarn over, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And I'm gonna do this all the way down to the end of this row. And then we'll turn our work and do it again and again and again until we get to the width we want. So again, yarn over, go into the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of my second row and you want to make sure with this project that you pick up that last little loop. And it might be easy to actually count your stitches. I've got 22 
on here. So if you know you're doing yarn over pull through 22 times, then you know you have all of your stitches in line. If you miss this last little loop, what's going to happen is your um, hat is going to get progressively smaller and it's going to kind of go sideways and lopsided. You're going to get frustrated and say, forget it, crocheting's not for me. So um, maybe count your stitches till you get used to picking up that last little loop. Um, so you're going to chain two again. You're going to turn your work and you're going to do the same thing again. So yarn over, go through, not this because we already have a stitch in there, but this next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, through, yeah. back loop only. Yarn over, pull through, back loop, yarn over, pull through, three. So you're going to do that the rest of the hat. So um, I am going to do... 23 rows to get the um, width of my hat. What's going to happen is it's going to be built out this way and you're going to roll it over and see if it fits around your head when you get the right length. This is the height of the hat so this won't change. Eventually we'll be folding it over into um, a cuff. Um, so that's kind of how you're working on things right now. So you may have to do a few extra rows. Um, you may have to do a few less rows, probably not, um, unless you're really using a really chunky, chunky um, yarn. And I will meet you back when you have all of your rows done. But I would say um, estimate, you know, somewhere between... 22 to 27 um, based on your yarn and just remember it's going to stretch um, as you put it on your head too so kind of measure on your head as you go and I'll meet you back when you are done okay so I am finishing up my last row I think I have the um, width that I want on this I have done 23 rows um, and this should fit, I know it looks a little small here, but it's really stretchy, so I didn't want it to be too big. Um, you have to kind of deal with the stretch. So this, I think, is going to be a good size for me. I ended up doing um, 22 half double crochets um, in my chain, and then um, I have done 23 rows. So now, you want to... Um, turn your work, fold it in half, and basically we want to um, sew these together. This is more comfortable for me. I don't think it really matters which way you start. Um, and we're just going to do a slip stitch into each stitch. Now this is, um, these V-shaped stitches are my last row, and then we started with a chain stitch, so there's just a single chain in here. So we're going to go into the first chain. If I can get my hook in there. And yarn over and pull through both. Now I'm going to go into the next V of two and the next chain. Yarn over and pull through everything again into the next V, into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. So basically slip stitching this together all the way up the hat and I will meet you at the end um, one more time going into that stitch and into our chain, oops, the next chain, and yarn over, pull through everything. Okay, I am at the end and have everything slip stitched together. Now I'm at my last loop and I'm going to yarn over and pull through. And I'm going to just yarn over and pull through to finish it off. Um, I'm going to, my yarn is just a remnant of a knot now. Um, I'm going to take some of this yarn and I'm going to cut it a little bit long because we're going to use the yarn to gather up the top of the hat. So I think that should be enough. Cut your yarn and then pull it all the way through 
to finish off your work. So it's all knotted up and ready to go. So this is going to be the inside of my hat, or actually the outside of my hat. So it's basically inside out right now. I'm going to take my yarn needle and thread it. And double it up, maybe a little bit longer than the piece, so I have a little remnant. And I'm just going to start weaving in and out of my stitches at the top of the hat, pulling tight, and you know, every half inch, inch, just weave in and out in no particular order, in no particular stitch, just at the top of the hat there and pull it tight and go all around the hat Okay, then when you're at the end, um, looks like I need to go just a little further. Pull it nice and tight, and then use your yarn to kind of stitch it together back and forth so you have a nice, tightly sealed up top to your hat. Kind of in every angle, just go back and forth so that everything is nice and cinched up. Okay, now I'm just going to um, go through and um, leave a little loop here so that I can go back through it with my needle and just knot everything off. So I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to leave a little bit of a remnant because now I want to attach my pom-pom. Here's my cute little pom-pom for this hat. So I'm going to turn it right side out and I'm going to take my hook and put it up through the top of the hat, just wherever it can fit through as close to the center as possible. And I'm going to pull one of my pom-pom strings through. See there? Now I'm gonna try and get on the other side of my knot somewhere with my hook and pull the other pom-pom string through with my hook. Oops, that didn't work, didn't catch it. It's pretty tightly sewn up in there. Okay, there it is. I caught another string too, so I'm going to pull it through and find the other side. Now see how these are kind of on each side of my, my big knot that I made with my stitching? Now I can really cinch my pom-pom down really nice and tightly. And then I'm also going to attach it to my pom-pom or my stitching strings that I had left over that I left a little bit long. And then if you want to reuse your pom-pom, I wouldn't cut those strings. If you are fine with it, you can trim all those off and, and then you're going to trim your starting piece. Well, actually, I'll show you how to sew that in to your work. So with our starting piece here, Go ahead and thread it onto your yarn needle. And then what you can do is just kind of weave in and out of your stitches up the hat and pull that through like so. It doesn't want to come because I've got it doubled over. So you can go all the way up your hat or just a little bit through your hat. And then 
you're going to cut it, but before you cut it, you're going to kind of pull on it so that this cinches up a little bit so that it gets pulled back into your work when you pull down on it. So now it's all sewn in nice and neatly. You're going to roll the hat, that's the back of the hat. And there's your cuff, and there is your adorable hat. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I have cute stuff coming out all the time, and you'll get notifications of it, and I can keep bringing you things.